It doesn't stop there. They don't get pregnant straight away. So they actually have delayed implantation. So from the summer, all the way through till late winter, early spring, usually beginning of March, she won't actually get properly pregnant until then. So if anything happens to her over the winter, she has stress, can't find enough food, she may abort them before they've even started to develop. However, if all goes well, from late February, early March, gestation period is a month. So after all that, and then she'll have up to three kids. So because it's such a long palaver, they only breed every other year, in most cases. Yeah, so uh, compared to everything else, it's going to take about two or three hundred years for them to probably be back widespread across England again. So it's a shame that they were left, left to get as rare as they were. And yeah, another thing to add to the list, they don't, they don't breed until they're three years old. So a lot of pine martins in the wild sadly don't get to the age of three years old. But <laughs> Wild Woods and the New Forest Wildlife Centre um, over the last kind of four or five years have actually had litters bred in captivity. We were lucky enough to have a pair that we put together um, for just over ten years. Defli definitely mated as they did so in the middle of the owl display, so everyone saw it was definitely. <laughs> but we've never had babies, so and sadly the males passed away now, but yeah, something one of them was infertile. But we were gutted that they're still on our list of mammals to breed. But um, Lyra across the dale, she's um, getting to the ground our age of three, so we're hoping. Um, to pair her up maybe later this year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely beautiful.